Hi guys, I'm Abby. Welcome to our 80s life where we're all about the 80s. If you're new to our channel, my husband Keith and I are 80s kids. We grew up in the 80s and we absolutely love the decade and we're just trying to get it back. And one way we do that is buying back all of the fun stuff we had as kids. The 80s had some amazing toys, and today I'm going to share with you my monthly thrift haul. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Let's start right off with one of my favorite things to look for at estate sales and thrift stores, and that's plush. Plush and dolls from the 80s, and I found quite a haul this month. I've got a lot to share with you guys this time, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start with this guy because he can't stand up on his own. I've been having to hold him the whole time. This is, of course, a California Raisin poseable stuffed plushie. Isn't he so fun? Next, let's talk about this guy. This is a nosy bear. They were made by Play School in the 80s. I did not have one of these. These were in the late 80s, so I was in middle school by then, and I wasn't really collecting as many stuffed animals, and it's kind of geared for younger kids, I think. So I did not have a nosy bear. You'll have to let me know if you guys had any of these. I have noticed, though, that they've gotten quite collectible, so now I'm on the hunt for them, and this is my first one, and he is the I love you, Nosy Bear. I think he's a mini one. I think they also came in a larger size. But let me show you what he does. So the Nosy Bears are kind of funky. They all have these clear noses with different things inside. This one has little red hearts that float in water. And it's a game. You try to get them inside this bigger heart. So you kind of swirl it around and you can get them all in there. And these have gotten pretty collectible. They have the Nosy Bear logo here on their ear. And then he also has the tag indicating that this is made by Play School and the name is the I Love You. Can you see it? I Love You Nosy Bear. There you go, Nosy Bears. Of course, I was very excited to collect another Cabbage Patch Kid, and this one really spoke to me with his precious brown hair and brown eyes. Look at him, isn't he cute? He did not come in a box, and he doesn't have his birth certificate, so we'll have to name him, but he has a cute little dimple. He's just adorable, he was a great price, kind of a steal. I just couldn't leave him there, so I got him at an estate sale, He's very clean and in great condition and I just thought he needed to come and join my friends in the Cabbage Patch. If you're here because you love the 80s, then you probably also love the Gremlins. I adored that movie even though it's kind of a horror movie, but it's like, is it a horror movie? Is it a Christmas movie? I don't know. But who couldn't love Gizmo? He is just so cute. So this gizmo plush had to come home with me. I just need to make sure that nobody feeds him after midnight because then we could have a problem. Next up, we have this guy. This is Boone. Boone is a fur skins bear from the Cabbage Patch series. And I found him in this huge toy bin at the DAV. That's my local disabled veterans thrift store. I think I paid like 50 cents for him and he is just in such great condition. He was very clean but I did wash him and I washed all of his clothes and he's only missing his hat and his shoes because he's supposed to be a beekeeper. Boone was a beekeeper so he would have had a beekeeper hat but I don't care that he's missing that. I love him to pieces. He's signed by Xavier Roberts here on his paw. I totally love him and I was so happy to rescue him from the toy bin. Now we need to talk about these guys. These were pretty exciting. I may have squealed when I found them because I got a like a grab bag. Um, so there was this bag, it was a Ziploc bag. You couldn't see what all was in it. It was full of little tiny plush stuffed animals. 
at an estate sale and I could see one of these in there. This is a mini popple. I knew there was at least one in there. I knew these were collectible, so I went ahead and bought it. And when I got home and opened the bag, there were three more popples in that bag, which made me very excited. And then there was also a bonus puppy surprise. The next item is something I found at the Goodwill for, I think I paid a dollar fifty maybe for this. And it was, um, it's a kite. It's a quilted kite. It looks like it might have been handmade. I love the rainbow uh, pattern on here and the cute little butterfly. I'm pretty sure this was made for like probably a baby's nursery. It has a nice hook here so you can hang it on your wall. But I just thought it was so pretty and so well made and in great condition and it was really cheap and so I just grabbed it. Here are the small items that I got this month. I got two pairs of really cute, totally 80s earrings, two pens, this vintage owl pen. I think it's a Hallmark pen and I just totally love it for Halloween. And then this one was very exciting, a shirt tails Pammy pin that says be mine be cute for Valentine's Day and I love the shirt tails as you guys know they're kind of hard to find things with the shirt tails so that's exciting and then and the lady threw in this for free it's just a little Scotty dog charm that was in there and didn't have a price on it so she gave it to me for free and then also in that stuffed animal grab bag Boy, that was quite a lot because I also got this little troll and it's a charm. It has a charm on the back so you could put it, in theory you could put it on a necklace if you wanted to wear a troll around your neck. <laughs> and I got some little dollhouse furniture for my dollhouse. Just three little tables that I can paint and decorate for the dollhouse. I also got some vintage swizzle sticks, some little vintage stir sticks. I don't think I've mentioned this to you guys, but I do like to collect these. Um, so this one is the Dallas Hyatt House, and it's got a Dallas Cowboys helmet on there. How cute is that? And then this one is from Steak and Ale, a restaurant we went to. Also, we had that in Dallas. I don't know. I think it was in other places. But this is the Jolly Ox from Steak and Ale. I'll show you the rest of my collection. Okay, here are the rest of my collection. A lot of these are from old casinos in Las Vegas. So this one's like the Sahara. This is also the Sahara. These are from the Stardust. Some of these places don't exist anymore. So it's kind of cool to have these. These are from Hilton Hotels. I love the little palm tree motif on there. Here's a lobster. I don't know where that's from. Maybe Red Lobster. And then a whole bunch of these I got at this one estate sale that has these little whistles on there. They're just so cute. So I added these two to my collection and I just love them. If you guys watched last week's video, then you've already seen our vinyl wall that we created. If you haven't watched it yet, you can check out that video linked below. We'll show you how to do that. But you guys, we did get a new vinyl record, a new vintage vinyl record to go on our record wall. This is Duran Duran's 1980 debut album. There we go. Like I told you before, these are really easy to change the records and you can stack multiple records on each shelf so you can move them around whenever you want. I think the guys from Duran Duran look pretty great on our wall here and definitely deserved a spot of honor. And by the way, after our last video about celebrity crushes in the 80s, we asked you guys to share your celebrity crushes. And one of the top answers was some of the guys from Duran Duran. Some people named specific guys. Some just said they liked all the guys. But there was one thing in common. You guys like Duran Duran. And so do I. Next up, Muppet Baby's Puzzle. Isn't that so cute? 
I did this puzzle with my friend Kim just to make sure and all the pieces are there. And so this puzzle is complete and I was excited to add it to my collection. I don't have a lot of Muppet Babies items, but I totally loved that show back in the 80s. I only bought one movie this month and it happens to be my favorite Disney movie of all time, Mary Poppins. I probably definitely already had at least one or two copies of this, but I mean, for a dollar, I don't pass up Mary Poppins. And finally, of course, I always buy books. And so here are the books that I got this month. I got Nancy Drew, Recipe for Murder. I actually got this at the DAV, the one where I bought the bear. And their books, you guys, are only 10 cents. So it's practically free. So I got this one from the DAV. And then I also found this amazing Wilton 1982 yearbook. So it has in it all of the different um, cake pans that you could buy. And then it also has like cake decorating ideas. And it's just full of some neat ideas. This is so 80s too. Look at that. Anyway, I thought that was super fun for a dime. And then the other books I got. Now, this was one of my favorite books in the 80s when I was a kid. It's called What Was That? It's about things that go bump in the night. And then I got two Pac-Man storybooks. I got Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Very cool. And then I found the fake Smurf. That's cute. And of course, y'all know I love the choose your own adventure books. Found another one of those. The Creature from Miller's Pond. And we are the Millers, so I wonder what's in our pond. I guess we'll have to read and find out. That's it for this month's thrift haul. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, y'all.